Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll continue with chapter 3, Electric Current and Direct Current Circuit. So in this video, we'll continue with 3.4, Electromotive Force, EMF, Internal Resistor and Potential Difference. Okay, so for this subtopic, there are equations that we can use. Okay, where terminal voltage Vt is equal to EMF minus IR. Okay, where Vt here is actually external potential difference and also uh, IR here is actually internal potential difference okay where EMF here is actually uh, the potential difference across the battery okay so we will continue with the example 7 okay so example 7 the battery has the EMF okay so this is the uh, battery EMF 9 volt and internal resistor of 6 ohm okay so meaning that uh, we need to consider that is a uh, potential loss uh, during the current passing through the battery. Okay, so the potential difference across the terminal when it is supplied to the current of five ampere. Okay, so if I say I draw the circuit here, okay, meaning that here we have the EMF internal resistor, and here we have the external resistor. Okay, so this is our okay, this is our battery with the internal resistor. Okay, so our EMF here is equal to 9 volt. Internal resistor R here is equal to 6 ohm. Okay, so we want to find the potential difference across the terminal when it's applied with the current. So here we have the current R is equal to 0 0.5 ampere. Okay, so based on the equation, EMF is equal to V terminal plus V internal. Okay, so sometimes V terminal here we will call it V external. Okay, so EMF is 9. Terminal is the unknown we want to find. Okay, so terminal. Okay, plus V internal. Okay, V internal is also equal to IR. Okay, V internal is equal to I times R internal. Okay, so we can change it into IR. Okay, so V internal will equal to 9 minus I 0 0.5. Internal resistor is 6 ohm. So it's 9 minus 3, we will get 6 volt. Okay, so meaning that initially we have 9 volt but already dissipated that loss uh, when passing through the internal resistor. So we lost 3 volt. So when the uh, potential difference across the terminal when we can measure is only 6 volt. Okay, so next we want to find the maximum current which the battery could supply. So when we say maximum current, okay, meaning that um, there's no internal resistor. Okay, maximum current meaning that there's no external resistor outside so it's equal to zero okay so our emf is equal to v terminal plus v internal okay so we also can write it as emf equals to i r plus i internal okay so when uh, maximum current meaning that at that moment our r external is equal to zero so i substitute inside 9 volt i r external is zero and uh, R internal is 6 volt. Okay, so 9 equals to 6i, therefore I maximum is equal to 9 over 6. So we will get 1.5 ampere. This is the maximum current. Okay, example 8. A car battery has an EMF 12 volt and internal resistor 1 ohm. The external resistor is 5 ohm. Is connected in series with the battery. So determine the reading of emitter and the ohmmeter if both meters are ideal. Okay, so our V EMF, okay, our EMF is 12. Okay, uh, our internal is equal to 1 ohm, external is equal to 5 ohm. Okay, so we want to get the value for the reading for emitter where the reading for emitter actually we want to find what is the value for the current okay so emf is equal to v external or terminal plus v internal okay so it's equal to 12 external is equal to i r plus i internal okay so 12 equals to i r external is 5 internal is 1 therefore i is equal to 12 over 6 so we will get 2 ampere okay so this is the reading for the emitter okay next we want to find the reading for voltmeter okay so the reading for voltmeter is actually v external or v terminal okay and it's also equal to i r external 
Okay, so since we already uh, find the current is equal to 2 ampere and uh, R external is equal to 5, therefore we will get 10 volt. Okay, so this 10 volt is actually the reading that we can read from the voltmeter. Okay, so that's all for this video. See you on the next video. We will discuss.